sometimes we have to be able to make sure and communicate our expectations to the owner of what, what we're going to try and do. A lot of times we just do it. We don't take time to explain it. Uh, recently, I've, I've learned more and more how important that is and being able to help them, bring them along. Um, we have to kind of recognize the individual's um, experience with horses, but also their knowledge. And so a lot of times we assume that they know certain things. And I, like I mentioned, I, I recently learning that more and more, it's been reminded to me how I need to make sure and take time to explain that to horse owners so that they understand what the expectation is and how we're gonna manage the expectation. Is their expectation real, realistic? And what they might be expecting from me as the farrier. Um, also in reference to the veterinarian that we're all working for the same outcome um, with, the, with whatever principle we're trying to apply um, through a different technique, but that we're all working towards the same outcome that we're able to help the horse. And so in a general sense, that's something that has to be discussed on a regular basis. Um, a couple different examples might be just in reference to the length or the, the duration of the shoeing interval. Um, I think that's an important thing that they understand that the horse should be done on a regular basis. That can be able to help. Also that they understand or define um, what correction means. A lot of times we have a misconception um, of what that word means and they don't understand where they expect a change immediately. Where we need to a lot of times say, hey, this is the expectation. It will take a little bit of time or it's something that we're just going to constantly have to manage. That it's not something that's going to be a one-time fix where you put on a, a certain type of shoe and it's a, a miracle, it's a cure-all, it doesn't quite work that way. And so again, we need to make sure, and ta I, I've learned that again, how important it is to be able to come back and explain that to the owner um, because of the experience you have where it didn't quite turn out the way you expected or they, their expectation didn't quite turn out the same way. And so making sure that it's all on the same page. I guess if you took it to another extent of like a therapeutic um, type expectation, um, along those same lines that they would understand how long you're kind of looking forward to that or going forward that it might be something that you're going to have to take a year or six months to do um, so again that they understand that and it's not something that they expect well they put these shoes on and it's going to then correct the problem again it's something that has to be maintained the correction has to be maintained in order to be able to help the horse it's not a one-time fix where it's done and then you see you next year. That it's something that has to be done on a regular basis. Um, and again, that's helping them understand that, bringing them along, um, educating them, using different resources to be able to help you do that. I love different models in order to be able to help owners understand that, an educational model that you can get from a lot of different places. But it's helpful to be able to use as a teaching tool, drawing a picture that they understand um, what's going on um, or perhaps different terminology so again that they understand the terminology of the expectation of what's going to happen. I think it's important to again you list out the expectations of what you anticipate happening with that particular horse as a result of experience that you've had probably with another horse but recognizing that it's individual um, but ultimately it's the horse owner's decision and I sometimes have done that, made the mistake where I go in and say, this is exactly what you need to do, but not recognizing the limitations that the horse owner might have where they can't do it financially. Um, it's not worth it to them to be able to take a one year's time out of it. Just had a, recently had a horse that was donated to our farrier school because of that, where the owner said, I can't do anything with this horse. It's not meeting my expectation. Do you want this horse? And so we got this horse as a result of that. Um, so that's a, that helps remind me of that something that needs to be asked um, in the process. So I educate the owner, I give them the expectations, help them understand what I'm um, hoping for optimistically and, and how we're going to go forward. But ultimately, again, I ask or stop and ask and say, what do you want to do? This is your horse. Um, and sometimes I've had it where they'll go forward. They say, I don't care what the cost is cost isn't a problem let's just do it other times I've had it where they pull back and say you know what this horse isn't worth that to us let's what are, what are my other options or you know so you have to kind of list it out and give them an option A or an option B so that they understand um, and, they, and again let them make the decision it's not something that I as the farrier can decide I can educate them but I put the ball back in their court to be able to say what do you want to do you know and I, I think that's a really important question to ask